السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ المونیم اینڈ میگنیشیم فونڈری پریکٹس اینڈ اف یو لوک ان ٹو دی ایڈوانٹیجز آف المونیم کاسٹنگ دین وی ول سی دیٹ اٹ ہیز گاٹ اے لاٹ آف ایڈوانٹیجز ڈیو ٹو وچ اٹ ہیز گاٹ اٹس آن اپلیکیشن فرسٹ آف آل the uh, the the lightweight per unit volume and uh, the wide range of mechanical properties as per strength hardness and can be altered by line uh, element we can or heat treatment we can improve uh, strength and hardness of the material now uh, there was one thing and that uh, is the architectural and decorative property its color and decoration can be used for uh, all these purposes moreover it is corrosive resistance and uh, therefore uh, it gives uh, to 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 be used in those location where there is a chance of corrosion or environment it is non toxic to the to the, to the, to the people and hence its application and uh, moreover it can be used for uh, electrical application due to its electrical conducti- conductivity and the casting property it has got relative uh, low melting point and therefore uh, lower pouring temperature uh, pouring point and can be used easily can be handled easily while casting moreover permanent mold due to its uh, lower melt boring point uh, can also be uh, employed permanent molds can be employed uh, shipping cost as it is uh, light weight per unit volume therefore shipping cost per piece is of course being reduced but it has got again limitations if we talk about the uh, cost per, uh, per unit weight as it is per unit volume it is low but then the cost per unit weight will increase and hence then it has got its own limitation where there is weight is important and lack of resistance to abrasion and wear uh absence of aluminum alloy to develop combination of high tensile strength we can't have uh, if we want to enhance tensile strength toughness and hardness together the combination of these things then it is not possible given by any means by line there is certain limitation beyond this we can't go and therefore that comes that limits its application uh, lack of resistance to severe corrosion then the, if the environment is having severe corrosive then it lacks its resistance now melting of the aluminum as it is having a melting point of 650 degrees centigrade and uh, mass easily level control as compared to as compared to steel in other uh, heavier uh, product which having higher melting point and therefore according to this we can use melting furnaces like crucible furnace river battery furnaces induction furnace whether it is the low frequency or high frequency now um, normal melting charge while when we go for melting of aluminum and uh, aluminum alloy then normal melting charge is that clean foundry scrap that is a vmax plus pre alloyed aluminum pig which is having our desired uh, uh, alloying element pre alloyed and therefore that is to be made and can be used for casting now the what the alloying element if you look into these are the uh, uh, alloying elements say some low melting point metals can also be employed say zinc magnesium and also higher melting point is also being employed for alloying like copper nickel manganese uh, silicon titanium chromium added as rich alloy or hardness this this increases its hardness and improves its strength and this scrap of heterogeneous origin should not be mixed mixed in the scrap we having all these oils 
that should be avoided. Cutting is uh, cutting loads with oil, uh, water can cause serious difficulties, and therefore, to use all those cutting, cutting loaded with oil and water should be avoided because they react. They may react and form certain uh, gases, which again may, uh, may 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 give may not provide a sound casting. Therefore, the, the good melting process is that the first of, first of, or first of all, the furnace should be clean and made charge should be clean, uh, crucible should be clean or it should be scrapped after each heat, it should be scrapped so that it should be have a very clean surface and there should be no impurities which can alter the composition or affect the melting practice. And therefore, metal parts should be coated with. Generally, we use some steel or carbon, cast iron parts that should be coated with talc and, and mica or mica so that it may not contaminate the, 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 uh, the, uh, the melt. For example, uh, and selenium, silica, uh, selenium uh, sodium silicate at 100 degrees centigrade that could be coated so that it can. It can be protected, the, the, the surface of the part may be protected. For example, 3 kg of calcium carbonate plus 0.1 kg of sodium silicate in 3.75 liter of water, they should be coated and heated up to 100 degrees centigrade so that it may, it may be moisture free. Now, coated parts will be dried at a red heat before melting the charge so that all the volatile material may be may be may be get evaporated and the, the, the surface of the part may be free from all contamination and the low iron contents may be maintained only in silicon carbide or uh, or clay graphite parts uh, that can be easily maintained because uh, this iron content may get picked up in the in the part which is that of uh, steel or cast iron and the, but it would, uh, silicon carbide or clay, uh, clay graphite parts and there is no chance to have a, an iron pickup. Now, drossing, now basically drossing is the formation of aluminum, uh, aluminum aluminum with oxygen, oxidation of the uh, of aluminum metal because it, it oxidizes when in contact with the environment having uh, oxygen and therefore that is known as drossing. Now, mass rapid melting occurs when a heel of metal, when a small amount of metal is there and then we, when we melt it, if a heel of metal is there in the pot, then it has been observed that the melting is, uh, is, 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 uh, is uh, rapid. Now, dross formation can be mon uh, minimized by protecting the child from combustion products because this combustion product, they may having you know, water vapor which may again react with the with the, uh, with the molten metal and they may form dross and rapid uh, melting will also help us to avoid the dross formation. Some oxides which we call dross if it is lighter than the molten metal then it will float however some other which is with, 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 uh, with other when they react with uh, some allying element they are the oxides are heavier then they will sink and they will uh, they, they are known as sludge and therefore they should be proper uh, system by screens and skim bob we need to uh, remove the dross and before before pouring we can also skim off the the the, the dross from the surface of the Molten metal. Now, this is you can see the there is a how the temperature affects the absorption gas absorption. Now, at melting point, at melting point, you can see the aluminum absorption is uh, is very high. It changes the melting point is changes the very high. Shoots up to 0.8 percent per hundred gram of fused metal, and therefore 
we have to take care while the while aluminum is melting so that it may not absorb hydrogen gas and therefore absorb increase in the absorption at melting point you can see from this particular graph how the increase on the in the in the in the uh, hydrogen pick, uh, pick up absorption has taken has, take, has taken place when the melting temperature when the when the material when the material has reached the melting point and therefore we have to take care of this now this gas which get absorbed in the molten metal will of course will cause to have pin holes or if they are distributed they may go, they may have a microscopic porosity and therefore the 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 the, 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 uh, product, the casting will not be of sound in nature uh, but whatever vapor, vapor as we have just discussed whatever vapor is harmful because this water vapor when reacts with oxygen it gives element oxide ox uh, oxidation of element takes place and releases water again oxidation of the of the molten metal is also a serious thing moreover with water not only oxi is oxi uh, oxidation takes place but also it releases hydrogen which again get dissolved in the molten metal to give this microscopic uh, porosity and therefore they should be proper taken care of and therefore combustion of gas containing uh, contents uh, water moisture and therefore they should be taken properly care and these are the you can see here they are get distributed this this exhaustion of gas has got distributed and this is some at certain some spot segregation has taken place further more segregation and further segregation now you can see now therefore whether it is having a dispersion dispersed macro cracks or segregated cracks then again the quality of the of the casting will get reduced and therefore we need to have a fluxing and uh, flushing to take out all those impurities now therefore to provide the separation of molten metal and dross we need to have provide flux and flush that out not to remove dissolved gas hydrogen and entrap dross as we, as we have seen that is to be taken out that therefore the gaseous fluxes include hydrogen helium or argon or chlorine they are uh, bubble slowly through the melt they react with the uh, with the uh, these, these gases the fluxing gases they they try to remove carry away the hydrogen gas while this chlorine they react with it and they are being removed now there were dissolved gas diffuses and carried carried away by all those fluxes now chlorine form chlorate and this chlorate can again be separated now surface dross if it is being formed the surface that can be skimmed off skimmed off by skim is skimming phenomena and solid flux like zinc chlorate they also can be added to the melt and that will try to uh, remove the uh, as they will form chlorate and they can be uh, skin off now grain refining can be done by providing simple chill casting that means chill means metal casting if we take take metal mold if we take metal mold then the, the the rate of cooling will get enhanced and chilling effect will take place and temperature um, by temperature adjustment by temperature and by providing chills or lowering down pouring temperature we can also improve the grain refining now these are few elements which also help grain refining say boron titanium chromium columbium sodium but after adding we just we 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 try to give in a very short time after adding shortly after that we just to pour so uh, pour so that it may not the melt may not react with the atmosphere again and pro and uh, and form oxides 
Now, therefore, we know the protein temperature is varying from the melting point is 650, therefore, it should be little higher, it should be little superheated, so that there can be proper fluidity and cover each and every corner of the mold cavity. And therefore, the molding of aluminum casting is less affected by heat because the temperature of the protein temperature is low and the specific gravity is also low and therefore, handling aluminum casting is easy and it is uh, therefore, is less affected as compared to steel and other casting and therefore, keeping this thing in view, we can use sand casting whether it is a green sand or dry sand or synthetic or uh, 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 natural. We can also because density is low, therefore, less squeezing pressure can also give a good uh, finish to the casting and therefore, we are having excellent surface finish with dimensional accuracy. Even in large casting, we can have a better control due to its light weight and low temperature. However, we can improve the, the quality of the casting by providing by, by adopting plaster molding or permanent mold, uh, metallic mold, this will also give a chilling effect and we can have a better casting and therefore, we can also have a die casting that means, uh, uh, permanent mold with pressurized pouring will of course, improve the property of the, uh, of the material by densification, by improving densification and having a uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, re reducing the temperature gradient of filling uh, 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 and uh, we can have a uh, refined uh, uh, grained casting. Now, but we have to take into account what are the defects which will incorporate so that we can get rid of therefore, excessive moisture as we have seen this moisture content reacts with oxygen gives not only ox uh, oxidizes oxidizes uh, uh, molten metal, but also provide gases which which may cause to induce porosity and therefore, that should be itself can. And moreover, this lumps when this oxygen, this hydrogen, they explode, they form a pit and they give a small balls can get entrapped, a clay balls get entrapped and therefore, it we need to avoid this thing. However, we need a collapsible type of molds because when there is a contraction and the, the, the coefficient of contraction is high and therefore, there can be short uh, uh, hot tears and therefore, there should be proper sufficient space or mechanism so that when it contracts, it may collapse and get room to get uh, to get shrink and, uh, and hot tears can be avoided. Now, inserts can also be uh, uh, provided as per our requirement in the in the in the casting whether it is a sand casting or plaster cast, plaster molding or maybe even investment ca, uh, in, in, in in die casting we can we can in, install inserts maybe of cast iron or steel which are often needed like shaft bushing or sleeves or cylinder liners and other surfaces requiring wear resistance that can also be incorporated as an insert in the aluminum casting. And these are, you can see inserts are there, these are the, you are having the, the brake drum, aluminum brake drum with the inserts, inserts is being provided over here. Now, you can see the inserts is provided in the, in the casting itself, inserts are there, can be provided in the casting, these are the, the, the brake, brake plates which is having inserts, if needed we can have the inserts as bushing or sleeves, ok. And therefore, but getting and rising of uh, aluminum is a very important parameter to, pro, to have a sound casting, because we know the characteristic of aluminum casting as mentioned, it is, it is having a drossing tendency gas entrainment, 
gas absorption, solidification shrinkage layer, high solidification shrinkage there, and the difficulty in eliminating micro shrinkage, and therefore we need to have a proper uh, high thermal conductivity, avoid therefore we need to avoid turbulence. This turbulence may cause to entrap or develop all the characteristics mentioned above and therefore by providing a avoiding turbulence we can get rid of illuminate all the all the all the problems which is indicated above. Now therefore keeping this reduce therefore we are having getting ratio non pressurized one so that turbulence can be reduced. One of the example is 1 is to 2 is to 2 and it can be 1 is to 4 is to 4 depending upon the casting we need to have a non pressurized type of casting even 1 is to 6 is to 6 is also. But in some cases we go for pressurized casting if the molten metal is not is unable to reach each and every corner of the cavity then we need to go for pressurized one so that it can in, 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 indicate parts where the loss of velocity is more than and, and therefore moreover by providing multiple ingots we can also ensure a proper uh, what you call uh, filling of the of the uh, cavity through instead of one gate we can have number of gates now with the number of gates the size of the runner will get reduced from one gate to another gate of the amount of that of the in gate so that the, the whole uh, the, 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 the flow should remain constant through each in gate and the screens can be used to prevent the foreign material in, to get into the casting. Now therefore riser design is very important and with the help of riser designing and locating in a proper manner we can prevent uh, micro shrinkage, micro uh, 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 macro shrinkage and because the volume of contraction is high and therefore we, have, we can only reduce by having a heavy uh, riser. Machine nature of the solidification can be avoided by giving large risers and very steep thermal gradient will also cause to eliminate micro porosity. And accurate riser to prevent surface defect uh, uh, will be there. Avoid ex excessive metal flow from one area. If one excessive flow is there, that may get heated and overheating may take place. And uh, uh, therefore, we need to uh, place riser little away from the casting so that overheating at the neck may not take place. Extensive use of tie riser is made so that it can directly come and therefore loss of, uh, of, uh, of energy may not be there and uh, uh, with a small uh, superheat we can able to feed the, uh, the, the cavity. Now aluminum permanent molds can all mold casting can as we, as we have discussed as, as it is it is having a low melting point, low pouring point, low density and therefore very easy to handle and can be used safely by using permanent molds and molds are made of generally the permanent molds are made of steel or cast iron. Of course, in case of permanent mold, molds can be metallic which will be which can be removed after solidification. But if the cores are intricate, then very difficult to remove this metallic uh, cores and therefore we can go, we can employ uh, uh, intricate cores uh, which is very, which is, which is collapsible and can be uh, removed easily. More surface is coated. Now when we are using permanent mold, then the, the, the cavity is being coated, the mold surface is being coated uh, with the refractive material in water and again so that the, the, the molten metal 
may not come directly in contact with the surface and the surface of the cavity may get uh, may be may be uh, safeguard and the life of the of the of this of the dimension uh, can be enhanced now this coating is to prevent sticking of the cast into the mold and therefore we will have a better smooth surface and we not only this we can control directional solidification by providing coating suppose we want to delay solidification at certain at particular location therefore we can by increasing the thickness of the refractive material we can because they are also non conductive we can delay the solidification at that particular location and there was thick coating is used to freeze slowly and there was careful control of casting parameters is required to avoid defect like hot tears now the magnesium casting again this magnesium casting is having a high growth because due to its low density especially in air transportation it has it has uh, have gained a growth a, a high growth now specific gravity is only from 1.74 to 1.82 now very small as compared to steel and all that and therefore per, uh, uh, the, 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 the volume per unit uh, uh, weight is reduced and therefore we can have a better application if the only the only we have to have a compromise with the strength and all that and therefore depending upon as the volume uh, as the specificity is very small and and melting point is also small and therefore we can go for green sand dry sand permanent mold even die casting can be done by, for uh, magnesium casting sand mold can be moisture react with magnesium again and uh, this is the equation the magnesium with moisture gives magnesium oxide drop it draws and it releases oxygen hydrogen similar to aluminum and which again get absorbed and this may provide porosity in the casting and however we can control it uh, there is a, a typical synthetic sand as generally being preferred it contains bank sand of fs value 60 to 90 having 3 to 4 percent western bentonite and uh, with the permeability 80 to 150 Uh, milliliter per minute and green strength of 50 kilo pascal to 770 kilo pascal is sufficient for uh, for uh, magnesium casting now as the magnesium react with the moisture and therefore we need in uh, uh, agents to inhibit and therefore otherwise may cause oxide inclusions or pin holes and there were these are the common inhibitors sulfur boric acid flor uh, ammonium uh, fluoride fluoride compound ammonium fluorate diethyl glycol they react with with the with the with the oxides and uh, and, uh, and and avoid the formation of dross now melting point is very much close to that aluminum 650 degrees centigrade and thermal requirement is also very similar to aluminum and as the 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 the, the, the contraction is high sinkage is high therefore to need to the, the, the crossable uh, cores are needed so that hot tears may be avoided generally urea formaldehyde resin bonded sand provides a collapsibility and that can be used as coat or dry dry and warm coat can be used to avoid water pick up when it is dry and warm then there is less chance to 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 pick to pick up water vapor and uh, and deteriorate the quality of the of the casting now therefore advocate venting will also provide sufficient room to escape and the adequate venting is necessary proper gating is also will improve the quality the generally we are having uh, bottom gating to avoid drossy 
and less uh, the, 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 the less public, uh, turbulent because turbulent will enhance chance to uh, to react with the moisture available in the in the in the in the mold and a number of ingots similar to that aluminium number of ingot will also enhance the the uh, to, uh, the, the uh, enhance avoid the reaction uh, with the with the with the moisture content and slot screw slot screws slot slotted type of screws screws also avoid vortex and that can be incorporated in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the mold the scanner pad or screen at the base of the screw can withstand also can can withstand stop the stick the oxide getting in, into the cavity. Now the melting similar as more temperature is very much close to that aluminium and therefore similar we can use these fluxes for uh, potassium chloride, magnesium chloride, magnesium oxide, calcium fluoride, barium chloride, mag manganese chloride. These are the fluxes they will react they may react and, pro and provide chloride and form uh, slag and that can be skimmed off. A typical composition given in the table over here. Now, purpose of flux is to prevent burning, provide sufficient fluidity because it is light, the volume of uh, the, the density is low and therefore, it needs a sufficient fluidity and by using all these flux, we can enhance fluidity and fill each and every corner. Now, this nitrogen when purged similar to that in aluminum, they also remove, take away hydrogen with it and this is a different combination of the of the of the flux which is being generally employed depending upon different types of uh, magnesium alloy. Now, grain if you want to refine a grain, now this uh, bubbling of chlorine or uh, uh, or uh, carbon tetrachloride or mixture of that they improve grain green uh, refinement now carbon powder addition also promote uh, grain, grain refinement therefore bubbling that will enhance not only this but hexachlorobenzene is also uh, seen to have uh, uh, grain refining now, the super heating to 800 degrees centigrade and rapid cooling will also promote grain uh, re uh, refining. Now, the, therefore, cleaning of the casting after shake out by sand blast and then gates and risers are removed by sawing and all cutting uh, operation. Uh, fire and explosive hazards are recognized and we need to avoid all those locations while because this magnesium they may have they, may, they explode react with uh, oxygen in the atmosphere and may give fire or explosion hazard may take place and therefore we recognize and we have to control it while cutting. Castings are chrome pickle treated to protect the corrosive layer of the of the magnesium by dipping in the aqueous solution of uh, sodium dichromate is so concentrated nitric acid one by one is to one and after that uh, rinsing in hot water and therefore this will improve the quality of the magnesium. This is all about uh, the foundry.